so well very good morning and very warm welcome to all of you for today's webinar session the webinar session uh, for today's is fixings in cavities and board materials okay so before going to the presentation we have a few guidelines to be followed during the webinar session in order to have a good quality of webinar so our one hour time we are going to split as below so the complete webinar will be there for 45 minutes from 11 to 11.45 a.m. And question and answers will be answered for 10 minutes from 11.45 to 11.55 a.m. And polls and feedback session will be there for five minutes. And for better experience during the webinar session, use only Google Chrome or Firefox. And please do not use Internet Explorer since earlier uh, earlier webinars, we have faced some uh, technical issues. Do you, if you use Internet Explorer and please do not do any parallel downloads. Uh, if you do any parallel downloads during the webinar session, it will abstract your uh, streaming quality and sometimes the video buffering may occur. So in order to avoid that, please do not do any parallel downloads and all the question and answers will be answered at the end of the session and there will be gifts for the correct answers as well. So let's move on. And hope everybody is having the same screen, which uh, there in the slide. So here is a quick description about the screen uh, where the presentation is going on. Here there is an highlighted button. Uh, you can see where the cursor is moving. So this is to regulate your screen. So once after you select this, you will have a bigger screen for a better experience. And along with this, you have three different options here, the chat, questions, and polls. Suppose when you want to convey some message, like you have a technical issue uh, with the webinar uh, streaming or something, please keep your uh, comment or your suggestion in uh, chat box so that our uh, technical team will be there along with us uh, in the presentation. They will assist you uh, to sort it out. And if you have any particular question regarding a topic or regarding a product or regarding any uh, presentation wise or webinar wise, you can keep your questions in the questions tab so that I will not miss any questions during uh, answering. And coming to the polls, as we uh, showed in the time split, there will be a poll session at the end of the presentation. So uh, you can access all the poll questions and uh, you can uh, give your polls or feedback in uh, polls tab. So let's move on. So before going to discuss about the fixings in cavities and board materials, I would like to ask you a question uh, about the anchor fixing. So in our day-to-day -day construction life, where you will be facing the anchor fixing uh, details, like say, suppose from the starting of the project to ending of the project, we will be coming across so many applications. So during the application stage, where you are using the anchors and what kind of anchors we are using? Yes, I'm uh, getting so many answers in the chat box. So here to give a quick and brief de uh, description, generally uh, we will use the uh, mechanical or chemical anchors to fix a base plate or a steel column or a steel beam, or for example, say some a steel canopy to a RCC substrate, which is quite strong. So the, in general, we will be coming across these anchors called mechanical and chemical anchors. So this is the general practice, but, and here I come up with one more question. Do you think the same mechanical and chemical anchors are going to be going to suit the applications which are coming in the board and cavity materials? So just give a quick answer in the chat box. Uh, yes, I could able to see some answers. So uh, the answer is no, so you cannot use this chemical or mechanical anchor for a delicate substrates like boards and cavity materials. The board and cavity materials are nothing but the Egyptian partition walls or the board partition walls, uh, a typical example I can give. So we need a smart and intelligent anchors or especially engineered anchors to be used for the drywall applications or the board material applications. So let's move on and see uh, how the anchor are going to fix it in uh, drywall applications. So how important, say for example, I was speaking about the anchors which we are using in drywalls, a delicate materials. Say for example, if you are fixing a uh, cabinet or a shelf in your kitchen, how much importance you should give for the anchor, uh, for selecting an anchor? Say I can give you three options. 
uh, I would like to give three options. Option one is low importance, medium importance, and high importance. So please keep your select uh, which one you choose, either low importance or high importance or medium importance. Okay, let's move on. So what kind of damage may happen? Say, for example, your importance, when we give a less importance or a medium importance, what kind of damage may happen if there is a wrong way of choosing an anchor or if you choose an anchor which is not suitable for a particular application. Let's see a short video here. So the, the lady is working in the kitchen and suddenly the kitchen cabinet or the shelf so it is what I would like to conclude from this video is it is not only the damage just of property or something else so we are going to pay much more than what we think so i would like to conclude whenever we are selecting an anchor for internal applications or any uh, uh, kitchen applications or any board fixings we should be more cautious and we should give top priority and most uh, importance to anchor selection so uh and coming to me, uh, to, this is Rajesh Thalapaneni, a brief introduction about me. I have four, e four years experience in structural steel and PEB, one year experience in fixing. I'm specialized in anchor design and steel design. I did my master's in structural engineering and I had a, I'm a licensed engineer for 2D drafting. And I handle Oman segment as a technical engineer. So coming to the cavity fixings, our main topic today, and uh, today we are going to discuss about seven different anchors. Uh, the first one is metal toggle fixing, KD and KDH. These are two variants. And another one, metal cavity fixing, HM. And the third one, board fixing, PD. And the fourth one, plasterboard fixing, GK and GKM. And the fifth one is nylon, du nylon toggle duotech. And the sixth one, universal plug UX. And the seventh one is Fisher Duo Power. So let's move on. We will discuss each and every individual anchor in uh, detail. So let's move on to our first anchor, Fisher Spring Toggle Fixing, KD. Here you can see the image of the anchor. And this anchor is suitable for board and hollow materials. Now, the first question is, what is a board material and what is a hollow material? So board materials are typically the gypsum boards or uh, the wooden panels, I can say, and hollow materials are hollow blocks or hollow slabs. These are the few examples of board and hollow materials. So let's move on and discuss about the anchor. So you can see the highlighted portion of the anchor with a red rectangular box. So this comes with a wide toggles or I can say the wide wings, these wings, uh, we come up with the inbuilt spring. This spring ensures flexibility in installations. So these wings will expand automatically during the installation. There is a short video how this anchor will work. So this I'll show you to uh, show it to you in the video how the spring action is going to work. Okay, and it also comes with a longer screw which allows the user to fix larger base thicknesses. Say for example, if you want to fix a photo frame of uh, 20 mm or 15 mm or more than 20 mm you can use this since the screw is quite long you can uh, fix it very easily and it had a white toggle means the white wings which will catch more surface area against the base material like the board material i can say so which ensures the load is distributed across the more surface area and which ensures higher uh, loads so it can carry a higher loads typically and it also comes with a sharp teeth or the class, I can say. So which ensures vibration and resistance uh, against rotation as well. What kind of vibration it is? So it is not something uh, very extreme. For example, when you choose to fix a, uh, when you choose this anchor to fix a kitchen cupboard and during the utilization of the cupboard, there will be a minor vibrations. So what happens during these minor vibrations is there will be a tendency that anchor may loosen by itself. And after a certain period of time, say like one or two years period of time, there will be a little uh, loosen in the anchor and the, the cupboard may start shaking. So because of this serrated tooth, the this kind of little vibrations can be avoided and the fixing application will be quite strong and firm 
and it will not uh, get disturbed even a short span of time. And here is a short video how the anchor is going to be installed in. Uh, sorry, yeah. So here is a short video. You can see how the anchor is going to be installed in the hollow block materials. I repeat again. So, so let's move on to our next uh, anchor. And before going to the next anchor, I would like to tell you the applications where this anchor can be used. So this can be used in light hangings and pictures and also can be used in kitchen shelves or uh, light shelves and cabinets and uh, towel rails or any other sanitary fixings. And it can also be used in cable and pipe clips. So here are the typical applications where you can use an KD and KDH anchors. So these are the few examples and this anchor can serve up to many more applications like this. So let's move on to our next anchor, Fisher Metal Cavity Fixing, HMS. So this anchor is basically suitable for board and hollow materials as well. So earlier I have explained you what is board material, what is uh, hollow materials. So I repeat again. So the board materials are typically gypsum boards or wooden panels and hollow materials will be like hollow core uh, slabs or hollow block walls. So let's move on and we will discuss about the anchor. So this anchor comes with a expandable wings which ensures the larger surface area will be in contact of, uh, against the board material and hence since the wings are quite uh, wide and it catches more surface area, obviously the load will get, get distributed to the larger area and which ensures the user to get a higher load capacities. And it also comes with a unique setting tool for easy and reliable installation on site. And also there is a other way of installing, even if you are not having an installation tool ready uh, you can also use the same uh, using a general screwdriver, which you, we use in our day-to-day -day construction life. And also this anchor, it had an application flexibility, flexibility, not the anchor flexibility. You should note this point. The flexibility in refixing or the adjustment means, for example, you have used this anchor to fix a base plate against a cavity wall against a board material after certain period of time you you come across like you need to uh, replace the base plate and you need to attach a small fire alarm or any other uh, small cabinet so that you can just uh, here in the highlighted image you can see earlier the first fixing is done with a base plate and later on you can replace the screw you can readjust the screw and you can replace your application so you can do multiple applications uh, if there is a chance and also it comes in three different variety screws one with this uh, normal screw and other one will be the hex nut and uh, the third one will be with l hook so it covers most of the applications and wide variety of applications and it also the head of the anchor here you can see in the highlighted image it comes with the sharp serrated teeth or a sharp teeth or claws i can say ensures vibration resistance and uh, rotation against and uh, anti-rotation as well. So this is the same principle which we have discussed uh, for the KD and KDH, the previous anchor. So the vibrations meant for the minor vibrations. And here is what we know how the anchor is going to get installed in the cavity material. You can see the installation tool. The installation tool will be general screwdriver. See how the wings are getting expanded. It's simple and easy to install. See, it's just perfectly. How simple it is to install. Okay, let's see another video how the anchor is going to be fixed with the setting tool which I have explained you. The earlier video shows how the anchor is going to be installed with the screwdriver. Here is with the setting tool, unsuited level. Select your anchor. And this is the setting tool you can see in the video. So once after setting the anchor in the installation tool, just it's like, just you need to press it against each other 
and here you go. Unscrew it. So this is how the installation will tool will. It is quite little faster and uh, easy to install when you use a setting tool. It will save much time on your site. So then you can, uh, as I told you, you can just remove the, the anchor. So the anchor is going to be firm and strong like as the base material. Right, so hope uh, the installation with uh, setting tool and installation with the uh, regular screwdriver is very clear, I believe. And here are the few application images uh, where this anchor can be used. So this anchor can be used in light fixings and pictures. So whenever you have a hanging application like, like light hangings, you can use the uh, L bolt, uh, L hook kind of anchor and um, this also can be used in light shelves and cabinets, and you can use it in uh, fixing of curtain rails and hangers and wall mounted light fixings. Yeah, so hope these are the few applications where this anchor is going to be used. And uh, if, now we will move on to the another anchor, our third anchor of today's session, Fisher Board Fixing PD. And this Fisher Board Fixing PD anchor is suitable for board materials and panel materials. So I hope uh, everybody is clear now what is a board material and what is a panel material. And this anchor comes with a very high pullout load, means uh, it can bear more uh, tension load. Uh, tension load generally when you have a suspended uh, applications like light hangings or any other uh, five alarms, I can say, in those applications, it is a very good anchor. And it also comes with preformed threads inside. See here, the anchor is of two segments. Here you can see in all these three pictures, the three segments, the top segments, which I'm highlighting with the cursor, the top segment uh, will have a preformed threads inside, which will allow the screw to penetrate easily and fast installation. So which gives user a comfort, uh, comfort to the user on the site while uh, doing the application. And it requires only a short length Say you have a board material and uh, you don't want to use much much space or you don't have a much space after the on the rear side of your uh, board. So this anchor is quite short and you need only a shorter space on the rear side of your uh, panel material, which is uh, which occupies very less space and uh, it, it will allow the user to go for uh, any other fixings beyond. And also it had a well engineered ribs. So you can see over here, there are some expandable rib kind of arrangements are the sleeve arrangements so once the screw is once the screw is installed it will pull the topmost knob or the topmost portion against the bottom portion it will form as an interlock there is a short video for this also i you can uh, easily figure it out how this anchor is going to work uh, how this interlock is going to form between two components and also trouble free trouble free anchor in unknown base thicknesses for example, you have an existing partition wall and in existing partition wall, it is closed from all the sides and you can't able to figure it out like what is whether this partition wall is made of a single board or double board or triple boards or even more. So in those cases, you no need to worry. So you, either it can be single board or more than uh, single boards. This anchor is going to work as same. So you can see here how the anchor is going to work in single board on the top and in the bottom how the anchor is going to work in the double boards so yeah so whenever you don't whenever we are not sure that there is a unknown base thickness this anchor is going to do pretty well and it, the anchor is only recommended to use with a single started threaded screw so what is a single started threaded screw let's have a look at what is single started what is double started and triple started threaded screws which are available in the market here you can see the main difference is the pitch. So the lead and the pitch, if you see here, always the single started will, uh, screw will have a lead of between the through two threads as uh, there won't be any overlapping or uh, the thread will be a single thread all over the uh, length of the screw. But the double, there will be a double thread and uh, for the triple, there will be a triple thread. You can see the difference over here. I hope it is pretty clear. 
and let's move on to a short video um, of how the hang anchor is going to get installed in board material. So here you can see the anchor after drilling the hole, the anchor is going to get it in empty here, the board material. Then select your screw. And there is one important point here, always make sure your screw is longer than the anchor length. Otherwise, the, since the screw has penetrated completely through the anchor, in order for the anchor to get activated or to get into uh, form an interlock. See how noisily the interlock is forming between the top and bottom uh, components. So that's it, the anchor installation is done. So this is that uh, easy and uh, it forms a very nice interlock and which will give you higher tensile loads. So here are the few applications uh, where we can use this uh, anchor PD. So it can be used for light hangings and also it can be used for light shelves and cabinets and uh, it can be used in sanitary fixings can be used in wall mounted light fixings as well so these are the few applications but the anchor had a wide range of applications to cover and let's move on to our uh, another anchor the fourth anchor of today's session fisher board fixing gk so this gk anchor is suitable for board and panel materials so hope everybody is clear now what is a board material and what is a panel material and this anchor is also comes with high pullout loads in board and panel materials means for the uh, higher tensile loads it's gonna carry and also it had a sharp serrated sharp threads uh, a wide and sharp threads the gap between the threads is a little higher when it, when you compare to a normal screw or a uh, hex bolt so this ensures a better interlock between your board material and it forms a very uh, good bonding and which ensures better loadings. And it also comes with a unique setting tool. So uh, this anchor cannot be used directly. You cannot use it either with the drill, uh, general drilling machine or uh, any other setting, uh, any other different setting tool. You, it comes with a unique setting tool, which is highlighted over here. So for easy and uh, fast installation. And this anchor is not advisable to use in fiber boards. So when you speak about board materials, there are different kind of board materials. Typically, I can say one is a plaster board, which will not have any fibers. And some boards will come up with the fiber boards, which will have inbuilt fibers, say reinforced glass fibers or some other fibers. So why it cannot be used in fiber boards? Why it cannot be used in fiber boards means, see the anchor is a nylon anchor. So it doesn't have a tendency to cut the fibers when you are drilling it, it doesn't have a tendency to cut the fibers. Instead of that, what happens, even if you still install in the fiber boards, the fibers inside the board will start uh, curling, or it will wrap against the anchor and the, there won't be any chance of forming an interlock. So which will lead us to a failure. So that's the reason we cannot use this anchor in fiber boards. This is limited to only plaster board materials or you can use it in uh, wooden panels as well. And this also had a trouble free anchor. And when you speak about unknown board thicknesses, I explained you in the previous uh, anchor when I'm explaining about the previous anchor, what is an unknown board uh, thickness? So when there is an existing partition, so either it can be single or double boards. So no need to worry about the base thickness or the base depth. Uh, you can use this anchor very easily without any hassle free. Let's move on to the next point, overhead installations. This anchor can be used in overhead installations or no? Uh, my answer will be uh, yes, but you need a expert advice when you are using this anchor. Why? Because this anchor, say for example, you have a false ceiling and you have only a single layer of gypsum board, which is commonly we use in the market is 12.5 mm. So when you are going to use this anchor, if you see in the image, there are one, two, and three. There are three 
threaded threads, uh, the gaps are three. So it is going to cut the 12.5 mm uh, board and it is going to form an interlock with very sharp, very uh, minimum thickness of board. So when you go for heavier applications like light hangings or chandelier hangings, there is a chances of failure. So we recommend this anchor to be used for light applications like you fix a sprinkler, fire sprinkler uh, to the fall ceiling. Yes, this anchor can be used when you want to fix a fire alarm, safety alarm, or any other uh, exit sign exit sign lights. So yes, this can be used, but not for the major applications. But when you have a major application you want to go ahead with, you can uh, contact us. We will be there to assist you in all the stages. Here is a short uh, video of how the anchor is going to so here you see how the setting is to be used with the anchor. So once after using the setting, you can choose your general machine. You can in the So once the anchor is installed, you can uh, the setting tool comes out very quickly. So then you can insert the screw. So that's how the installation process goes so the here the main uh, advantage of this installation tool is it is quite fast and uh, easy to install okay let's move on to the another anchor the second anchor of our fourth segment fisher board fixing gkm this anchor is suitable for board materials and panel materials as well so most of the features are same for gk and gkm but there is a light difference which i will explain you here this comes with a sharp tip or a fine tip which will allow uh, the anchor to drill directly without any setting tool in one go so you don't need a special setting tool to install this anchor directly you can take your normal uh, drill machine so you can since it had a fine tip you can directly drill into the cavity material or the board material so it also comes with a sharp external thread for better interlock uh, which i explained you for the anchor gk and this is suitable for fiber boards this is one uh, major difference for gk and gkm the gk is a nylon version and the gkm is a metal version so here the sharp threads had a tendency to cut the fibers and to penetrate through the cavity material or the board material so this can be used in uh, fiber boards as well so and no special shutting tool is required since already it had a fine tip which ensures uh, proper drilling in the cavity materials and also another future the same what we had for uh, gk when whenever there is a unknown uh, thickness of uh, board material you can use this anchor without any trouble and coming to overhead installations this is the same feature which we explained for gk so when you are uh, installing in the overhead applications it is recommended to go with the light applications not for the heavy applications and when you want to go for the heavy applications please take an expert advice so it will not keep any uh, trouble so here is a short video how the anchor is going to be installed so this anchor can be used with a normal drilling machine even you can use it with a general screwdriver as well allowed for you the uh, no need of any setting tool, directly the anchor is going to get installed in the cavity. So it's all go in one, it's all going to get installed in one go. You can see the beautiful rare view of the anchor, how the anchor is penetrating through So one time installation is done. Take your base plate or the fixing element and along with the you can see of uh, from the fixing gear, yeah. So let's move on to the few applications where this anchor can be used. So here you see this anchor can be used for electrical fixings or shelves and uh, book cabinets or light shelves and sanitary fixings or any other uh, wall mounted lightings or wall mounted uh, fixings. And these are the few applications where this anchor can be used. And uh, there are many more applications you can use this anchor. Let's move on to another anchor, our fifth anchor of today's session, Fisher Duotech. So the Fisher Duotech, the name itself says Duotech. So the Duo refers, there are two ways of using this anchor, which I will explain you. 
and this anchor is suitable for both hollow materials and solid materials so now everybody is uh, i hope everybody is clear about board materials and hollow, so hollow materials now let's move on to solid materials means what kind of solid materials we can use this anchor the solid materials can be concrete or aerated concrete which we which we call it as lightweight concrete so this can be used in i i i, I can say this can be used in all the universal materials all materials a universal anchor i can say so here are few few points are highlighted we will discuss all the points in detail so let's move so this anchor basically comes with two components the component one you can see the red component and the gray component so this is a, uh, made of two different uh, it is a joint of two different uh, segments which is a quite wide in uh, width and which catches more surface area of the base material and it distributes load against more area which allows the user to get higher tensile loads or higher suspended loads and now, now i spoke about the load distribution and the tension load only now it also comes with a metal inset inside uh, in between the two components so this metal ensures the bearing capacity what is bearing capacity? I mean, how it is ensuring the small metal inset? Say when you, whenever you have installed this anchor in a ceiling and there is a chance when you screw it and when you insert the screw and when you suspend some application, there is a chance the anchor will bend. So the anchor tries to bend. So in order to avoid that bending, okay, there is a metal insert, which is nothing but the bearing capacity. So it ensures the anchor should not will not bend in heavier applications also. So, that's the purpose of metal inset. Let's move on to the third point and fourth point. So here, this is a two-way smart anchor, which I already explained to you. There is a two way of uh, using this anchor. One is the expansion. So in when you insert your screw, when you insert your screw through the anchor from uh, position three, which is highlighted here, the number three. So this anchor will uh, uh, expand by itself and it will start behaving as an expansion anchor. But when you, there is another way to uh, insert the screw. When you uh, insert the screw at number four, here you can see. So it will act as a toggle anchor like the KD and KDH, we, which we discussed uh, the first anchor in this session. Okay, I will show you a short video how this uh, is going to work. And it also comes with the anti-rotation notch here you can see. So whenever you install uh, against any board material, so the notch will form a small groove or it will hold the base material very tight. And once you started inserting the screw or when you start drilling the screw, the anchor will not rotate freely and uh, it gives an anti-rotation uh, property. Let's move on to the sixth point. Uh, it also comes with a glass fiber reinforced sleeve. So the sleeve we talk about earlier, we talk about tensile loads and then bearing capacity. Now here comes the shear loads. So this sleeve assures the better and highest shear loads for the anchor. And uh, you will get a better experience when you see the short video version of all these three features. Now there will be a release button. So what is the purpose of this release button? So let's go into our uh, normal day-to-day -day life, our regular day-to-day -day life. You might have seen there were some plastic sleeves, the sealable for uh, for food processing units or some uh, bread package you will be seeing, there will be a plastic tag kind of seal. So what, what is the property of that? Once you seal it, you cannot reuse it. You just need to cut it off. So you cannot take it back and you cannot uh, release the seal. So here, if you see, this is more or like the same, but it comes with a release button. So once you pull it up or down completely using the release button, you can freely adjust uh, move in front and back very uh, easily. So it will allow the cust uh, it will allow the user to use it uh, in any uh, different situation, even accidentally. If you pull the sleeve completely up or down, you can readjust it very easily. Let's move on to our eighth point, the strap, uh, the wide strap here, you can see this wide straps comes with some teeth or molded teeth, which ensures the, which ensures the user to cut off the unwanted uh, strap so easily. You don't need to use a knife or a scissors for this uh, special case. So there will be an extra strap at the end of the 
there will be a you can see there will be a small bended portion here this bended portion which allow the user to handle it very easily on the site and the strap comes with a scale yes once the installation is done for example say you have installed in a solid material and the anchor is completely inside and you just cut cut it off your uh, strap and now you need to know the what is the screw length i want to use it for this application so there will be a marking there will be a scale marking up to 20 mm on the strap so once after your cut you can see how much is the depth i have installed so accordingly you can select your screw length so it is quite easy while selecting a screw length the anchor itself will guide you to select the right screw length let's move on to the last point not but not least so it is about in what direction uh, and in what way i have to handle this anchor during the installation on site there will be an arrow marking on the top of the anchor so this arrow marking will guide you the direction of installation so always the arrow mark should go first inside the drill hole so let's see a short video uh, how the anchor is going to install so earlier we have two pieces this anchor is going to hang and this is going to come as a tackle now we have two tackle pieces which is going to be there See, after drilling the hole, anchor is going to get installed. See, once it started inserting and it releases automatically and it changes its direction. And if you see the way uh, the radio has installed in the same direction, the arrow. So the sleeve is pulled completely inside. And you can just cut up it in one go. So that's the reason small little is there on the your fixing element so that's how uh, the anchor is going to act as a toggle anchor let's see how this anchor is going to act as a expansion anchor so here is a short video this anchor is going to act as an expandable anchor in terms of uh, concrete or any solid material so here also is the one go you just need to cut up this strap basically is uh, extra strap Based on your uh, thickness, your drill depth. So this is how the anchor is going to be act as a toggle anchor and an expandable anchor. So let's see what applications this anchor can be used. So this anchor can be used in cupboard fixings, uh, suspended lamps or suspended lights, and you can use in wash basin fixings and also wall mounted televisions. See the anchor is quite if. So visibility the anchor is quite small i believe but it had a very good tendency to take heavier loads so let's move on to our another anchor the last but not sorry uh, this is the last but one anchor so this is fisher duo power so the duo power and the intelligence so i can say this is the best lovable anchor for me and i love this anchor very much this had this had a very uh, intelligent features and a very powerful anchor which can solve any kind of problem you have on site so this anchor suitable for board hollow materials and solid materials so if you talk about any interior applications i can suggest this anchor without any further uh, delay so let's talk uh, about the features of this anchor the first feature it comes with two components you can see a short uh, video version of how the two components are getting assembled together so actually the red component and the gray component are two different components molded one on another to form a an anchor so the red component will be a soft material and the gray material will be a little hard material i will explain you why it is soft and hard in the coming uh, notes so it also comes with the anti-rotation uh, straps. You can see there were some small sharp projections all around the anchor. So these are the uh, these are the these projections allow the anchor not to rotate when you install in a solid material or a cavity material. So which which uh, I can say an anti-lock uh, serrations. 
So once you install this anchor in the solid material, for example, and when you start inserting the screw or when you st start drilling the screw, there is a chance the anchor is going to twist. So to, in order to avoid the twist, these serrated portions are uh, developed. And it also comes with a plug rim. So the plug rim on the top most portion of the anchor, which will not allow the anchor to fell off if when you are using in a uh, cavity fixings or a board fixing, I can say. So there is a chance if the rim is not there, it is a guide. It, it can act as a guide, I can say. So there is a chance the anchor will slip off and it will fell in the cavity side, means in the other side, in the rear side. So this plug rim will allow the anchor not to fall off and it will uh, keep the plug in position. And here comes another feature. It, this anchor comes from 30 mm to 80 mm in length, usually, and it requires a very short drill hole, which will allow uh, the user to finish his work fast. And it also saves this time on site. So you can do more number of applications in a short span of time. And the red plug and the gray plug. So the gray plug is uh, for a, it, it acts as a folding, it folds. Uh, when you are using in a cavity materials and uh, when you are using in a solid materials, it starts expanding. So I will just explain you what kind of features uh, this can ensure us. And the red plug is uh, a solid material, which I can say it had a little properties uh, like rubber. It is a very soft material. So whenever there is an expansion, when, when you install this anchor in uh, solid materials, when the anchor has to expand a bit, it, the body will expand. So this red plug ensures the gray plug to expand safely without uh, splitting or without breaking. So that is the main purpose of uh, red plug. And, sorry, and here you see, uh, it also comes with the closed tips. Here you can see some arrow marks, which are very uh, having a very sharp and uh, fine tip. So what happens once you insert the, once after drilling the hole, once you insert the anchor inside the drill hole, there is a chance that the dust particles or more the dust uh, can come inside the anchor material. So inside the anchor, which will not allow the screw to penetrate completely. So there will be a chance of obstruction. So this leaves this sharp fine teeth will expand once after the installation, which ensures the dust will not go inside the anchor and which allows user for a comfortable experience during the installation. And last but not least feature, so this comes with a unique marking. Say, for example, if you have a uh, bunch of anchors, uh, or as per the design, if you have uh, two, three different uh, dia of anchors on site, and uh, by chance, if you miss, uh, there will be a label on the box, by chance, if you miss, and you have set two, three different varieties of plugs, and uh, you don't know which plug has to be selected. So in that case, this marking will help you. Here you see the typical marking, Duo 8, hyphen 4.5 to 6. So this duo 8 means the anchor overall dia is 8 mm and this anchor can be used or this anchor is suitable with a screw range of 4.5 to 6 mm means the 8 mm duo anchor the duo power anchor can be used with 4.5 to 6 mm screw. So this is what the marking differs so which will um, avoid the confusion on site and uh, easily you can select the required anchor. Okay let's move on. How, how the anchor is going to behave? There are three different principles. The first one is tension, holding, the third one is not. How this anchor is going to behave? See the first feature, how the anchor is going to behave. It is in a solid material. So once you go the screw is inside, see there is a little expansion in the body. Here you can see how the folding is going to happen. In the perforated materials, the anchor folds by itself. And in the cavity materials, and it is going to form a knot. See how intelligent this anchor is. So based on the substrate, it guides itself automatically, and it starts uh, suiting the it starts suits application. So it is a very trouble-free anchor. So based on your substrates, the anchor had a power inbuilt power to start uh, getting adopted for the right application according to the substrate. So here you can see the typical uh, applications, the uh, 
uh, pictorial representation of the anchor in solid materials, how the body is going to get expanded. And in the hollow materials, either it can be, if you have a perforated, multiple perforations in the base material at very short interval, it is going to form as an expansion. You can see the multiple expansions on the anchor. And here you can see when you have a uh, cavity, bigger cavity or bigger uh, perforations, this will uh, automatically act as a folding uh, anchor. And in the board materials as well, the same. When you have single board, it will form a folding, uh, it will start behaving as a folding anchor. And if you have multiple boards, means you have a bigger base thickness of uh, material, it forms as a knot. Okay, let's move on to the applications. This anchor can be used, same as uh, Duotech, which I explained you earlier. This can be used in cupboards and uh, handrails and uh, wardrobe fixings and also for steel doors or any other uh, door frames you can use the same anchor let's move on to our last anchor of today's session fisher universal plug ux suitable for board materials hollow materials and solid materials as well so i hope everybody is clear about board materials hollow materials and solid materials and this anchor comes with and without rim so uh, you can see over here there will be a rim the plug rim what we discussed in duoper there will be a small uh, ring kind of arrangement and the other one without rim so what is the advantage why two different products so we'll discuss here so you can see here the one with the rim is for the pre-position installations so what is pre-position installation the anchor will be in a pre-position installation the anchor will be installed before fastening the attachment means for example if you have a photo frame or a small wooden piece to be fixed against a uh, drywall or a gypsum board so in that case when you are using a rim the anchor with rim you need to install the anchor first then you need to position your wooden piece and then you need to drill the screw this is the procedure this is no, this is nothing but pre position installation and when it comes to the anchor without rim, this is suitable for push-through installation. So what is push-through installations? So during the, uh, the push-through installations, anchor can be installed along with the attachment. So earlier we have, we have installed the wooden piece separately, means and not along with the anchor. But here the same wooden piece can be installed along with the anchor because the rim will allow, here the rim is there, which will not allow the anchor to go completely inside against the wood piece. But here in the second case, since there is no rim, the anchor will freely go inside. That's a major difference. And this the, uh, earlier what I have explained, this anchor is going to, this, this anchor had an expanded property in solid materials like concrete or some aerated concrete or any other uh, clay blocks or mud blocks. And this had a knock formation uh in cavity materials for example if you are uh, fixing it against a gypsum board or uh, any other wooden panel so it will form as a knot on the rear side of the cavity material this also i will show you in a short um, video format for better understanding so here comes another nice feature of this anchor the screw length so how to select a screw length so yes we will be giving you some uh, technical data sheets or some specification sheets which will guide you but even on site when you are uh, when you can't able to refer to some documents in a typical situations you can use this thumb rule uh, the screw length is always equal to the plug length plus fixture thickness plus one screw diameter say for example you have if you selected a plug of 50 mm say and your overall length of the plug is 50 mm, you have a wooden piece of 10 mm thickness to be fixed, and you are using a 8 mm screw. So now the, your overall screw length will be 50 mm plug length, 10 mm fixture thickness, plus 8 mm. So overall it is going to be 68 mm. So your screw length should not be less than 68 mm. And the edge distance should be minimum of one plug length. For example, say you are fixing this anchor near to the edge of a drywall or near to the edge of any uh, surface. So always make sure from the edge to the center of the anchor should be minimum one plug length. And here is a short video, sorry. Here is a short video how the anchor is going to gravity material.
So you see how the anchor is going to once the screw is connected to completely to the anchor, it is going to form a small knob kind of thing or a knob kind of thing, which forms a better interlock and it will not allow the anchor to come out, which allows to carry more loads. Right? So these are the few application pitches, sanitary fixings, frames and light fixings, skirting you can use, and also pipe fixings, which are for the wall mounts. And uh, here are our uh, finished all our SAN anchors. There is a uh, little summary for all these anchors. Here you can see uh, the metal toggle fixing KD and KDH can be used in these substrates, which were highlighted pictorially here, hollow materials, perforated materials, board materials, or wooden materials. And this comes with a screw, in, screw range of five to eight mm. So for example, if you select a screw of eight mm, which is highlighted in the red color over here, if you choose to fix this in plasterboard, you will achieve 18 kg. So this 18 kg is the fa uh, factor load, not the working load. And uh, the factor load and the working load means it, it had a factor of safety in the design. So metal cavity fixing HM. So this also can be used in the uh, sub materials like this, uh, hollow materials, perforated materials, and uh, boards and uh, wooden panels. It comes with a screw range of four to eight mm. When you choose the same eight mm screw in the plaster boards of 12.5 mm thickness, you can achieve a safety load of uh, recommended load of 15 kg. And same for the board fixing PD. So here I'm not going to give a brief or uh, complete inform, uh, description or reading about this anchor since we already discussed. Here you can see how this uh, this can carry up to 15 kg when you use a 6 mm screw. And plasterboard uh, fixings GK and GKM, both nylon and metal versions. This can carry in a plasterboard of 12.5 mm up to 8 kg. And here is Fisher Duo Power. Uh, here is the screw range from 3 to 12 mm. I think uh, this is going to cover all the range of screws which we generally use in our uh, interior finishings. And uh, it can give up to 15 kg when you use it in a plasterboard of 12.5 mm thickness. And our universal plug UX, it will. Uh, it also had a very nice range of uh, nice range for the screws it, from 3 to 12 mm. And it also gives 15 kg when you use in plasterboards. And nylon duotech, uh, the screw size is only, uh, it has only single range of 5 mm screw. When you use it in uh, plasterboards of 12.5 mm, it's going to carry almost 36 kg. So here is the complete anchor summary to keep it in uh, very simple. So let's move on to the next slide. So here I have presented you seven different anchors and these anchors are going to suit for almost all the uh, applications. Some anchors are, can be suit, the same anchor can suit, two different anchor can suit for same applications. So now you might have come across a doubt like how to select a plug. So in both uh, in terms of uh, cost or in terms of your speed of work. So let's move on. We make it very simple and easy for you. Here we have a mobile application from Fisher called Fisher Plug Finder. So it is available in Google Play as well as uh, Apple Store. So you can easily download it and install on your uh, mobile phones and you can use it. So how this mobile app is going to guide an user or a customer to select a plug. Let's see how this app is going to work. So once you open the app, there will be a screen like this. And once you select the start button, it will redirect you to the next slide. So here you need to select what kind of application you are going to use it, whether a frame fi picture fixing or a lamp or a wall cabinet or so on. So once, for example, if I select a picture fixing against a wall, so it will redirect you and ask whether your picture is up to 6 kg or more than 6 kg, means 7 to 20 kg. For example, I'll select it is more than 7 to 20 kg. So then it will redirect you and ask what is the substrate means what is the base material either concrete or perforated brick or aerated concrete or any other uh, materials. So here I'm going to select perforated blocks. So once I select the perforated blocks here comes uh, it will ask us to select the type of anchor you need. So here we have an anchor. So I'm going to select an anchor with plug and screw. I need an anchor with plug and screw for this application. So here, finally, it gives the recommended product, which anchor you can use. So here is the anchor. We got Fisher UX. So 
straight away it is a very easy way to get with uh, an economical way and uh, easiest way to choose an anchor in very uh, less span of time and also here there are two tabs one is instructions which will allow uh, which will show the user how to install this anchor and uh, what is the edge distance to be followed some general uh, standard uh, functioning uh, to be ensured while installing this uh, anchor and it had some te technical specifications you can select the technical specification tab and it will give you what is the minimum sale uh, you can i mean the minimum you need to buy and a minimum drill hole depth required anchor length or the screw size and minimum panel thickness that can be fixed for that particular anchor so this is the basic uh, version and uh, this is the complete about our uh, fissure uh, cavity fixings and uh, board material anchors so here we go for the question and answers let's move on to the question and anchors you can keep your questions in the questions tab so everybody can hear me hope the audio is clear so the first question is from Muhammad Abbas. What type of uh, anchors and how to fix a handrail? One minute, I couldn't able to read this. Handrails in double wall gypsum boards of 50 mm air gap in between. Yeah, uh, you can use our duo power anchor. Uh, if you have any such special cases, uh, you can uh, send us the inquiry. So we will give you the solutions as well. So for this application, you can use our Fisher Duo Power Anchor, which is a best anchor I can say. And Amrit Kumar Parikh, can we replace the existing cavity anchor uh, when it get loses after two, three years? so yes cavity i we just need to see what kind of uh, anchor you have used and uh, how the application was carried out in the site so we need to know the reason why it got loosened uh, either you have selected a wrong anchor or it might be something different so based on that we can assist you if there is uh, some su such special case please uh, send us the inquiry sure we will assist you and here is the next question from uh, Amit Kumar Parik. Which of the cavity anchors is suitable for fixing exhaust fans to gypsum boards due to vibrations? Yeah, that's a nice question, Mr. Amit. Yeah, this you can um, use uh, our uh, Duotech or you can use our uh, KD anchor as well. Or I can uh, suggest you if it is an external, you can go with any metal anchor. So the Fisher uh, Duotech or Fisher HMS anchor you can use. And if you have any special cases like uh, heavy exhaust fans, so it also depends on the fan size. So if you send us the details like uh, specifications of that fan, if it is a quite heavy fan, we just need to look into that. Uh, so based on that, I can give you a right uh, product to use. And one more question from Mr. Amit Kumar how to decide which cavity anchor to use yeah i think uh, i had given you this answer so when you are using kd and uh, one there are two things to be remembered always one is uh, when you are using kd or when you are uh, using pd always remember what kind of uh, base material you are using and what is the load of the application say for example if there is a load heavy load you can go with the uh, or duotech or uh, kd when you have a short loads and you have uh, board materials you can use uh, pd so here you need to remember one more thing the kd can be used only in the board uh, can be used in hol hollow materials and board materials as well but pd can be used only in um, board materials it cannot be used in hollow materials so amit kumar the last question i believe how will toggle works for vertical walls yes nice question um see when i hope uh, in the video which i showed you in uh, duotech so it is very clear how it is going to work as a toggle in the vertical walls means uh, your horizontal fixing i can say so there will be interlock on the rear side and also there will be a sleeve shear sleeve which will ensure the shear loads so you can use this uh, duotech in uh, vertical uh, uh, applications 
So let's move on to our uh, polls. Uh, please give us your valuable feedback, which will ensure us to be uh, improve ourselves in the upcoming webinars to give you a better uh, quality of webinar. And, uh, and you can suggest our topics which you need uh, personally in the chat box. If you need to have is, if you need to have more uh, technical discussion or if you need to have more information regarding our products or regarding our uh, any topics, you can uh, give us a email or you can give us in the chat. So we will be get back to you. So everybody, please click on the uh, click on the polls tab. And here you have some polls. So please give your uh, please select the you have a multiple uh, choices there. You can uh, select and you can uh, give the poll. So I repeat again, all the users, uh, please go to the poll session and um, please give your valuable feedback in order to improve ourselves in the upcoming webinars and webinar sessions. And if anyone has uh, kept, if anyone has some questions, please uh, post your questions and all the questions will be answered uh, through email as well. Uh, so all the questions, whatever the users have asked over here, the participants. So we will email all these questions to every individual. And I uh, hope everybody enjoyed the presentation and I hope it is informative and uh, still we are uh, here to help you all. If you have any questions or any uh, any other doubts, you can uh, mail us and uh, we can give your valuable feedback. So. So here we come, hope everybody has uh, given their poll and uh, valuable feedback. And our upcoming webinar will be on 3rd of June 2020. And the topic is Masonry Anchor Design. So for registrations, please do contact marketing at Fisher.ae. And here we come to the end of the presentations. Thank you, thank you for your active participation and thanks for all of your questions and valuable feedback. And here we sign off for the day. Thank you.